So we have rhythm, emotions, poetry, melody, humanity, and three minutes. Wow, okay, okay. So all of these things, they're all, of course, they're all correct in their own way, and they're all kind of challenges. Because as soon as I see them, my brain says, well, what if we take away one of them? Is it still a song? It's very easy to say, I don't like it, so it's not art. But I think a clearer definition of it is, it takes us on a journey. It might not be a journey we like, but we can agree, actually, yes. Yeah, so that guy took me from A to B. I didn't want to go from A to B. I wanted to go from Z to P. But it doesn't matter because we can look at it and say, OK, it took me on a journey. And that journey might be entertaining. It might be empowering. It could be resonating deeply with something in my soul. Or it could spark a memory. All of this is doing something very simple, though, I think. And that's pushing energy around. Communicating. I would try to write a song like Bob Dylan, or I try to write a song like Queen that I'd heard, or I would wonder how they did it. And then I realized that it was quite the opposite. They weren't trying to write songs like other people, or if they were, they knew they could only do it through themselves, which is pretty cool, because then you realize that the only original thing in the room is you. I've heard all 12 notes. Sorry, you guys. I've heard them more than once. But I've never heard you, or you, or you, write a song. I've heard you, yeah, and you. <laughs> but this is like one of the, the massive points when you realize, okay, it's a bit more than just words and melody, which are obviously key building blocks of a song. You are the only original thing. Can I put myself into it? And then I realize I have the wrong question. Anybody know why I say that? No? As soon as I start thinking, it's usually gone wrong. As soon as I start thinking, instead of just creating, it goes wrong. We can doubt right at the very start and then nothing happens after that. And that's something, you know, about the artist versus the critic. I think to critique something, it's work in itself. But then nothing happens after that. Something is critiqued and that's the end of the process. But to be an artist is to say, this is weird, this is wrong, but what if I follow it? What's the worst that can happen? You never share it with anyone? You hate it? Put it in a drawer. It's fine. You never have to sing it, but you don't know what's going to happen. That's the amazing part. That willingness to be wrong, that's something that critics won't do. Critics have to be right about their opinion. With very few examples will you see critics will draw back their opinion and change it. But artists can afford to be wrong, because we can do something else. We can do another song. The more I write, in some ways, the more things I've done, but also the more things I can become scared of doing, you know, to decide that's not me, I shouldn't do that. But instead, I'm now at the point where I feel like that's the right avenue. You know, I shouldn't do that. I should probably do it. I think you look for your weak spots and use them. Because if I'm good at running, I'm always going to be good at running. But maybe because I'm terrible at swimming, I'll find a new way to do it. Or maybe I'll drown. Who knows? But I might just do it in a different way. I guarantee you I will. So I look for my weak spots. So when I'm like, um, I'm not Bulgarian, so I don't naturally know odd time signatures. 
this took me a long time to learn how to play, I'll be honest. <laughs> it's not natural in the music of Ireland. We have a lot of very straight, we have, you know, we have the odd slip jig, which is nine, nine, eight. But once you learn one, you know them all. I wanted to get better at odd time signatures, but I, so I knew I had to write songs, but I also knew I would write bad songs in odd time signatures. So I knew that I have to write a lot of bad songs to get there, so a lot of practice songs, and that's okay. And nobody's ever going to hear those, thankfully. Um, that's up to me, that's part of the liberty of being an artist. But um, I knew that was my weak spot because I just did not have that background to do it. And while I could just say, okay, I'm never going to do that, that will not bring me anywhere new. So I had to find that weak spot and, and decide to write a song that I felt stood up as a song based on my weak point. And so I would say that that is the key, is to look for your weak points and don't be afraid of them. And realize that you have more to offer because of the weakness than you do from your strength. The role of the artist is to face fear so we can show other people that it can be done. To carry that small spark into the darkness. And the weird thing about a small spark in a completely dark room is that it's way bigger. You know, if I have a lighter now and I do this, you won't see it. Barely see it. But if we darken the whole room, that becomes the whole room. The role of the artist is to go to those dark places, usually in themselves. Those places they're scared of, those places they want to run away from so they can show other people they can do the same. I'm not supposed to. And sometimes, like I say, that's by telling a story. A story that is scary to tell or is transformative. A story that needs to be heard because people need to hear stories that inspire. And I think that's the, the, the big, big thing behind the artistic journey and hence why when you focus on your weakness you're taking that step into the darkness and people actually really really notice when you're not comfortable but and is the but and the weird thing with performance you can never show it in performance strange imagine if you were to be like this, this is a song if i show the fear on stage i shrink but i can show it in the songwriting I used to sing the song a lot because of the potential for stage fright. I thought it was a great opening song because it made me say what I was scared of straight away. And it was um, Talking Heads, Psycho Killer. So it's like, uh, if, do you know the song? Yeah, but the opening line is, I, I can't seem to face up to the facts. I'm tense and nervous, I can't relax. And as soon as I say it or sing it, I'm, I'm relaxed on stage. So it was a great way to just go, Basically to say, I'm scared up here, but it's okay. Nobody's going to die, I promise you. It's all good. And I would say it, and then I'd overcome it. But likewise in the songwriting process, when you get that point of, I'm terrified of saying this out loud, or singing it, and sharing it, you realize that will make other people cross that line. Your story can help other people cross to somewhere new. Somewhere that they haven't been. It will say to them, it's okay. The dark is scary, but it will show you things that you will never see in the light. And in turn, that will show other people. And that's amazing, because you become a chain. And that's really what songwriters are. You know, we're passing on the things we've learned before through influence, through people we share music with. I have the same feeling. I feel like everyone else makes music and I don't. It's not real. But I also think that's hilarious that I still think that. And I had to learn to laugh at my craziness and then use the craziness to go somewhere new, to be like, okay, I'm crap at this, fantastic. That's great, I'm rubbish. Like I said, odd time signatures, that was my weak thing. And still is, but now I'm not scared of it. I will now embrace it and use it. If it comes up in a songwriting thing, I'll, I'll use it. But I had to do it. I had to sit there and play you know, things badly for a long time and laugh that I know there's kids here in Bulgaria who play in odd time signatures from the moment they're born and I can't do it and I'm 30 years old at the time, you know, I'm like, but that's hilarious. But it's important that I did it because I went somewhere new because of it. And you'll find that the more you 
chase those uncomfortable things, the better. The art will just increase exponentially because you are going somewhere other people aren't sure they can go and you're bringing them with you because we're communicating, we're pushing energy around and we're saying, this is hard to do, but I'm doing it. Or even saying, I'm not good at this, but I'm going to do it the best I can. And people are like, wow, if he can do it, I can do it. And that's kind of punk summed up right there, actually. It's the most punk attitude you can have. Which, um, being willing to face that fear. Again, that's the artist. Artists want to face fear or do it even though they don't want to. And they bring us to places. I think it's interesting because when we talk about music, you say, what do you do for a living? I play music. What do you work at? I play. You work. I work. You play. That's not fair. <laughs> but, we, <laughs> but you forget that comes from the artistic angle. We should be playing in our songwriting too. Play means have fun without expectation. Kids aren't like, I'm going to play with the Lego and I'm going to build the best Lego ever. No, they're going, I'm going to play with the Lego and I'm going to have fun. I remember a time thinking like, oh, I want to sing like Jeff Buckley and lead a band like Mick Jagger. And yeah, these are real expectations. And there's a, a list of them, you know, play guitar like Hendrix all at the same time. Then I'd be Prince, right? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> uh, but all of these things, and but they're not helpful. They do nothing for me. So now my thing is, and it's in life as well as in art, is like find the expectations and kill them. Kill them when they sleep. <laughs> Destroy them. They're of no use. They're us pretending we can predict the future. If I could predict the future, I would have the lottery numbers by now and I would even share them with you guys. I swear. <laughs> That's your expectations. They're useless. Get rid of all expectations because you're depriving yourself of something, of a journey that is amazing. You're depriving other people of enjoying your journey because you're not going on it. So, expectations. I'm just going to write one word next to them. Kill. I just don't believe in writer's block because I've never come across one or a condition where I couldn't write in because if, it's a, if that it was true then I would have something to write about because it would be a condition I've never had before I think whenever I've stopped writing it's fear because I feel like I'm stuck but that just means I have to work to find inspiration and that's okay because it's fun so if you feel you're stuck, look around you, try something new, try write a song like you talked about. And I, I like this idea about like I, I will sometimes write songs for my friends. But I never give them to them. <laughs> I'm like, Ben would love to sing this. I wrote half an album for Ben and now it's my album and Ben's never getting the album and, <laughs> and he loves the album. That's the best bit. But I did it because Ben doesn't sing like me. He doesn't look like me. He doesn't play like me. And I thought, well, that's a new persona for me to walk into something different to do. There's so many characters we can take on. And even if we do it badly, we end up somewhere new. And that might spark something way stronger and better, but it's a journey and it's playing and it's fun, like your joy, right? So I think writer's block is just fear and we can overcome it. Don't be afraid to write bad songs. Nobody has to hear them. But if you write every day, guess what? You're writing every day. So he's like, hi, I'm Andy. Who are you? And Lou says, I'm Lou Reed. I'm, I'm a songwriter. And Andy said, oh, great. What did you write today? And Lou Reed said, well, we have an album out. And Andy looked at him funny and said, but what did you write today? <laughs> I thought, songwriters write songs. Painters paint. Do it today. Doesn't matter if it's bad. Doesn't matter if you throw it all away. It has moved you down the road to somewhere else. I think, if anything, that is the idea behind all this songwriting. Keep practicing. Keep looking at yourself and challenging all that fear. And when you get fear, be happy you have it because you're going the right way. Now the rain Oh, it's coming down Through a sunset on a brand new foreign land And free
freedom She smiles, oh she smiles She take my hand And maybe I'll be thinking of you Even when I'm not supposed to Maybe I'll be thinking of you And all the times we could have All the times, oh you know, we should have And all the times we did Supposed to Maybe I'll be thinking